Hey you guys, it's Jen with the Iridescent Dragonflies. And one of the questions I get all the time is, okay, so you said that you are a yoga teacher, I get that, but you also said you're an Ayurvedic lifestyle coach. I don't know what that means. So an Ayurvedic lifestyle coach is someone who uses Ayurvedic principles to coach. I'm sure that that makes total sense. The question comes in on what exactly is Ayurveda, right? So Ayurveda is the sister science to yoga. And the two work hand in hand. Really, originally, they were not two separate things, but part of one system. But the way we use them today is more like sister sciences. It's a 5,000 year old science, and so it has a pretty long history. And it's very concerned with um, the five elements and how those five elements basically make up every single thing in the world. And the part that is most concerning to us as people is how those five elements then in turn make up our bodies. So the five elements you've probably heard of if you've ever looked at, you know, some like Chinese medicine or any of really the ancient systems all uh, allude to the same five elements. And they are ether, air, fire, water, and earth. So if you think about ether, that's the container, the container for which all of the other elements reside. It's open space. It expands, it contracts, it is the container. Then when we think about air, that's like wind and movement. Air fills whatever container is available. So it creates movement both in the world and in our bodies. It causes change, it, it, it's creative. Then when we look at fire, fire's hot, right? That's primarily what we think about. It also gives a light source. It transforms things from one thing to something else. If we put food on the fire, then it cooks the food. If we put precious metal in the fire, all of the dross is burned off and we're left with the pure metal. So fire is transforming. It's heating, it illuminates, it gives light. Then we look at water. Water is fluid and it's also moving just in a different way. It causes change in that it erodes things and creates smooth mountains out of rocky mountains. It creates smooth pebbles out of sharp rocks. And it creates that movement through water, which is soft, right? It feels soft, but it's powerful. And then our last element is earth. And earth is solid and stable. When we think of the earth, we think of words like grounding, right? Um, it has substance to it. It's dense, it's heavy. So all of the elements each have their specific characteristics. And then when we combine different elements together, we, we get um, characteristics together in the same thing. So for instance, if you combine uh, fire and and air, what do you get? Wildfire, brush fire, fire that moves and is very aggressive. If we combine uh, water and earth, what do we get? We get mud and it's thick and gooey and slimy and it creates kind of a different thing. So as we combine different elements together, we get characteristics combining, which creates kind of some new feelings and sensations as we look at the world around us, and even what happens in our own body. So Ayurveda, sister science to yoga, 5,000 year old science, deals with the five elements and the combinations of those elements and how those elements affect everything from our environment all the way to our bodies throughout the day, throughout the seasons of the year. Hopefully that gives you a very brief introduction to what is this Ayurveda thing anyway. I'll talk to you soon. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye for now.